Hey, I'm Kathy from D's. I'm one of the hat designers here. And we keep getting requests from people on how to do a basic small fascinator. So today I'm gonna do a little video on how you do that. Um, we are going to start with a very easy base. We carry these little discs in different size, two sizes actually, these two. And they come with a nice little slot here that you can just put your headband right in the slot and then you can decide what side of the head you want to wear it on. Do you want it on your right or if you want to you can slide it over and do it on your left. And then once you decide you might want to put a little bit of glue right underneath that headband just a little bit so it doesn't slide when you don't want it to slide. And then you can put it right on your head. If you don't have one of these this is great. A little wig head we put on a tile to make it heavy enough so that we can work on it and it doesn't fall over. So today I'm gonna to start with this flower. I haven't done anything cutting it off, so I wanna show you. You wanna cut it off as close as you can, but not so close that the flower falls apart. So normally I'll cut it about right there. And then what I'm gonna do, just in case it's not a secure flower and those petals might fall off, I might just put a little bit of glue around there, a little bit of hot glue right there. And then I'm gonna put that on my fascinator that's gonna be the first thing we do is put your major piece, your flower on the fascinator. And I'm gonna turn this around a little bit. I'm gonna put a nice good quantity of glue all around. Make sure I get some of that little stuff. And then I'm gonna put that on the fascinator anywhere you want, but I like mine somewhere right here in the center. And then I have to hold it for a second because I want it to completely adhere and if I let go, the weight of the flower might make it fall off. If you've never used this, this is called electronics duster. It's actually for cleaning your electronics, removing dust and lint, but it makes a great cooler for your hot glue. You spray a little bit on, it cools it down like real quick, and then you can go on and continue your fascinator. Now you'll see when you do a fascinator, and this is the biggest problem people have, you've got this very blank space here that has to be covered up. So one way that you can do that, you could put some ribbon, you could put some feathers, um, you could use crinoline or netting. I'm going to use the crinoline netting because I want to show you how to use this. The crinoline has a thread right here that's called a gathering thread. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to use about a yard. So I'm going to go on and cut that. And then I'm going to pull out the gathering thread. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you. If you pull on this thread, you could gather your crinoline and you can make a ruffle and you have to do your ends tuck your ends in and you can put that behind there today I'm not going to do a ruffle though so I'm going to pull this gathering thread all the way out and then I'm going to fold the crinoline because I want some smaller loops so I'm going to fold it and make a loop and then I'm going to make another loop and then maybe this last one I'll let it be open so it's a bigger loop and then I'm gonna gather that all on my fingers. And we're gonna use covered wire, a cloth covered wire, so it doesn't slip as easily on the crinoline. We're gonna twist that around very tightly. And because crinoline is pretty slick, a lot of times, I'm gonna go and cut the excess wire. A lot of times I put a little bit of glue right there just to keep that crinoline from sliding. Now, I can go to the front of my hat. Whoops, keeps falling off. You can put a pin in there if that bothers you. It's a little bit easier to do. And then I'm gonna just see, test my crinoline. I'm just gonna lay it back there and see, oh, that looks good. I'm good. That's what I wanna do. I want to stick out a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the back, put some glue. And again, have a nice little dab of glue. And I'm gonna glue that sort of the back of that flower, tucked into that space that we have. Now you have to be a little patient if you don't have your handy dandy duster or, and then you're ready to go to the next step. Now, again, I have a space in there I still need to fill. So now I'm gonna show you how to use some netting. The netting, um, you're gonna make a loop or like a loop of a bow, gather, just make another loop. If you want, you can do three or four, whatever you want to do. How big you can change it around, make big loops, small loops. 
play around till you get the look that you want. I'm just gonna do three. I think that's enough for this size. Sometimes I'll just do two smaller ones where I don't want crinoline necessarily to be the main focus, but I want to add a little bit of softness. Putting that same covered wire around and twisting it. Cutting off my wire just so it's not in the way. Now I'm going to put some glue there, right in the center is all I really need. I'm gonna put that right over top the other wire. So you see now I've pretty much covered all my mechanics. Spray a little bit. And now this is also giving you a place where you can tuck some feathers in if you want feathers added to your fascinator. Okay, so we've got crinoline, netting, flower. Now we want to add a few feathers. So you have what we call biots. They would be cute. Long cokes. And I've got some of the wispy strip cokes. So we're just gonna quickly add a few of everything. I like to just chop them off and play with my feathers. Do I want it that long? No, I don't want that long. I'm gonna cut it off a little bit. I'm gonna do put a little glue on the end. Now you have to put it somewhere. I'm gonna either tuck it into these petals, maybe one there, and then since they're not, I don't want them necessarily lined up on the same plane, I'm gonna put a little glue on this one and I'm gonna tuck it more into the crinoline and the netting. I'm gonna turn around and show you. So one is tucked back here, and one's a little bit further up. And I don't always like two of anything, so I'm probably gonna tuck one more. If you have a feather like this and you don't like it, you can easily trim it to a point. So I have one more. Just play around with it until you decide what looks good to you. I kinda like it back here. So I'm gonna put it right there in between my crinoline loops. So I've got your three feathers. Now I'm gonna just add a few biots just because I wanna show you what these look like. Now, I can put these in one at a time, whatever I want, but I like, since they spread out nicely on their own, I'll gather all the ends together, one little bunch, and run some glue all the way around. And then I'm just going to tuck these right in here. They're smaller than the tall unstripped cokes, so I want them in the front, just so they show. And I could add all the way around, just a few. But I do like these, kind of like, they like the wind, they like to flow. So again, I can do these, I can put two here, some here, some here. But today I'm just gonna do them as a group. So I'm kind of evening up the ends. Glue all the way around, so make sure we get them all. Now I'm gonna put them in as a group, but once I get them in, I'm gonna just, before they dry or cool, I'm just gonna spread them out a little bit. So it makes a real easy way to add your cokes. And then I wanna show you these uh, peacock swords. Most people don't want them just straight up. So you just take your hand and very gently run it across and you get a nice curve. And then you can decide, start out by cutting a little bit off Sticking it in, oh, that might be a little bit too long. Just keep trimming slowly until you get the length that you want. Again, a little glue on the end. Now, sometimes they'll start to fall, so I'll use a little bit of air just to hold it in place. It's not completely cooled. Whoops, that happens sometimes because some of them are pretty brittle. Um, so you might buy an extra one, but just for the heck of it, let's go on and put this little one in the front. I think he's kind of cute. We'll just stick him up there so we can see him. So that's our little fascinator. We're going to check out the back and the sides just to make sure. Some glue strings on here. Just to make sure we don't have any holes or any places where we can see our mechanics or our glue. I don't see anything, so I think we're done. So this is just one example of a fascinator you could do, a small one, but we also have larger bases. And over here, you'll see even a larger base. All fascinator bases, all pretty much done the same way. So come see us, get your supplies, and give it a try.